Welcome back aliens, my name is Avin Vendi and let's continue with this series on Django. Now in the previous video we tried to make this data dynamic. So by passing the data from the Python file, we were accepting that data in the HTML. And in the HTML we just have to use that Jinja tag, right? And it works. But now I want to also make this to the next to destination dynamic. And the way you can do that is by going to your editor and here we need to create two more objects. So I can simply copy it. In fact, we also wanted images, right? So what I will do is I will, before copying it, let me just also take the image before the price, of course. So I will set test one dot image. And here the image would be, we have to specify the name of it. Okay, so but what is the name of the image? So if you go to your assets here, you can have images and in the images, you can see the image name is destination one, two, three, four, and this goes on. So I'll be using this first three images, one, two, three. Uh, so I will be saying the name of the image is destination underscore one dot jpg. Now you might be thinking, do we have to write everything in the, in the Python code? See, normally what happens is this data is actually coming from database. Maybe this data has been updated by the users or the agent. Simply as a developer, you will fetch this data from the database and display it on the page. So this manual work is not something you have to do it. But since we are learning now, we don't have a choice. Okay, so let's say destination underscore one dot jpeg and okay, let's copy this code, paste and paste. But this time instead of having dash one, we'll say dash two and here the data will change. So I will say from, from next will be Hyderabad, but what should be the tagline? In fact, I have read it somewhere uh, in Hyderabad, biryani comes first. So I will say first biryani and then uh, next Sherwani. Okay, and then destination image will change. Let's set the price as let's say 650. So if you want to enjoy the entire Hyderabad, this is the amount you have to pay. And let's say next is Bangalore. So we'll say this is this three, 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 and here also it is three. Okay, and then what should be the tagline of it? I don't know, maybe beautiful city. I have not read much about Bangalore. So let's say beautiful city, also the tech park or I just IT park. Uh, but let's say this is destination three, Okay, three and done. I don't know what type of images you will get, maybe the same images, but we are just trying to make it dynamic. So now instead of having 700, let's say 750, maybe it may take more money to enjoy that. Okay, so we got all this data and then we want to pass this data in the HTML. Okay, so we simply can't, we don't want to pass two different objects. Let's pass it as one object. And the way you can do that is by creating the list of destination, we can say desks equal to, it will be the list of these destinations. I will say dash one comma dash two and dash three. Okay, so we got this three destination and then we got in a list and instead of passing all the destination, in fact, one by one, we will pass everything in this one particular list. Done, we are passing three data now. You can pass thousands of data, your choice. Let's go back to index.html and here let's make a change. But what, I don't know, let's try. So here uh, we are passing three data, right? So what I have to do is, okay. So we can do it manually also. We can simply uh, set the values, but don't you think you got this three data because you are displaying it. But what if the amount of destination you can see on this screen is depend upon the database. So what if you have 10 records there? You need to show 10 destinations. What if you want to show 20 destinations? So in that case, you can't simply make it static, right? Because the number, even the number of destinations is not fixed. What if you can use a loop? Because in a, in a loop, you don't have to worry about the number of destinations, right? Depend upon how much data you're passing from the database, you, will, you can show them. We are passing three data, so it should run for three times and it should show three data, right? But how can you use a loop here? We can use it, but we will be using loop on this particular one. So we will repeat the same stuff. So we don't need the next two. So we don't need desk two and three to come up. Let's move that. So we only have one now. Just to verify, let's refresh. And you can see we only have one destination and even the data is not shown because we have done some changes. So I want to show three. I mean, I'm not sure how much data you will be seeing here is because it just depends upon the number of objects you pass. We know it now, but what if you don't know it? Let's go back. Okay, so here I want to run a loop. So how do you use a loop here? So we'll say percentage again the Django Jinja format. And here we have to use a loop format. So how do we use a loop? So we can simply say for a dest in destination. So if you remember the variable, this is what you're passing from the views. Dests, yes, you're passing it here. And uh, we need to also end the for loop. So we'll say for loop ends here. 
And the way you can end a for loop is by using a keyword which is end for, is it? Yes. Okay. Let's verify. Let's go back here and refresh. Okay. So that we got three. We got three because of loop. So if you pass four objects in the views.py, you will see four destinations here. So now we are making it dynamic. Yay. Okay. But, but, but. We want to change data, right? We want to change these names. I don't want to have this as Mumbai. So let's, whatever data is coming. So we'll say dest.name because the variable name now is dest or the object name. So here as, as well, we'll say dest and here as well, we have to say dest, save, go back. It worked. You can see we got Mumbai, Hyderabad, Bangalore. Uh, price is also different. You can see the first one is 700, next is 650 and next is 750. And look at the description. It's also changing. Yeah, there's one thing went wrong. You can see we got special offer everywhere. Again, we'll try to solve this later because only one location need to have special offer or maybe two. But we don't want to give offer on every destination. We will be in loss then, right? We'll do that later. We'll change it to, we'll make it one of them a special offer. Okay, but before that, I want to change the, the image as well. You can see we have still not done with the image. So let's make it work. Now, if you go back to your views, you can see we are also passing image in a variable, which is image. So, or IMG. So what you can do here is, this is what we want to make it dynamic, right? So how do we use it? Maybe you can use, I'm just trying out, let's see. I will say dest.img, or will that work? Let's verify. Go back here and say refresh. Oh, something went wrong. The image is not loading up. Uh, let's verify in the inspect element. And if you go back to console, refresh again. Okay, it says image not found. So the image it is trying to find is dust.img itself. Can you see that in the error here? Okay, that means the data is not getting parsed properly. The problem is this thing, this logic here, this, this type of format works in the HTML. But if you see, this is itself is a Jinja format. So you can't simply use Jinja inside Jinja. Okay, that, that will make it weird, right? So how do you solve this? There are multiple ways of solving this. One way which I know, let's use that. So what you can do is, what if you can remove this part? Then the problem will be solved, right? But how? So what we can do is, we can simply go back up on top here after load static. And here you can say percentage, percentage, yeah. Uh, so we can say static path, which is images because it's written in images, right? And I will say as base URL. Now what will happen is whenever you want to use images, you can simply use base URL and this base URL becomes a variable. Okay, so, so what I'm saying is, if you go down, okay, where, where is that? I, I don't know. Let's search for dash.image. Okay, this is where we have done it, right? So here we don't want to write this static now. We can remove this part and we don't even want to use Jinja format because that's what we are doing now. So what we can do is in this double quotes, we can say variable because base URL is a variable now. So I will say base URL. So you can see we are not writing the desk.image inside the Jinja tag, it's outside now. So this is your Jinja variable, this is your Jinja variable, and on top of that, on top of your page, you are making static images as base URL. This works, there are multiple ways of doing it, whatever you feel better. Let's refresh, it worked. So that's how you can do this thing, right? It's, it's awesome actually. It's not just Django, you can do this in different, uh, language available. We can do it in Java. We have different template engines there. So one of them is free marker. You can also use velocity. There are different different things available there as well. In PHP, different frameworks are available. But this, this thing is awesome. The making page dynamic is something will make you a web developer. Okay, not just image, but in general content. Okay, anyway, so this is how you make the co dynamic content. Do we have to change something here? Everything looks good. Uh, you can pass this data from database now, but how? We have not done anything with database at this point. So let's do that in the next video. But just to go for a quick recap what we have done, we are trying to pass the data from the Python code. So you can see we are hard coding everything in the Python code and we are passing it in the HTML to print it. Yes, we will make this thing coming from database. Okay, but as of now, uh, this is working. You can see we can, we got all the data here. Yeah, okay. So we just have to use a for loop to run multiple div tags and in every time it, it runs, it will, it will have a dynamic content, right? So first time it will be for Mumbai, Mumbai data and next it, it will be for Hyderabad and then for Bangalore. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye. -bye.